It's summer, 1858. Commander William Lewis Herndon, an American naval explorer, has 150 passengers and crew. The boat starts to go down. All 150 passengers and its crew are at risk of a watery death. He goes down with the ship in order to save all passengers on the ship. Fast forward, here we are in the town of Herndon, Virginia, named as the namesake of William Lewis Herndon because many of these Northern soldiers who had their lives saved by the bravery and the unwavering commitment of William Lewis Herndon are now alive and they decide to settle the town of Herndon, Virginia. Now that you understand a little bit about the history of Herndon, what you don't know is what's happened since the town was founded. What's interesting about some of the neighborhoods around, particularly this neighborhood, is the access you have to be to work in literally five to 10 minutes, to be to about eight or nine different high-end shopping centers within five to 10 minutes, to be to four different major arterial roads. You have access to everything very quickly. As a matter of fact, I wanna introduce you to a home that's actually gonna go on the market at a very reasonable price per square foot for what you can get in the entire area and still have the same amenities you get in this entire area. So let me give you a brief tour. We're in the inside of 13123 Frog Hollow. This design with this wraparound porch, but the interior design is what we call a center hall colonial. You walk into the house, you've got a living room, you've got a dining room, all hardwood floors everywhere, which is what a lot of people want now. Kitchen's been totally updated, totally redone. Come on over here, family room. You've got a deck off the back of the house. So let's go show you the rest of the house, what else is popular. If you don't know this, this is pretty common, uh, commonly understood uh, in real estate agents and, and uh, most of the real estate industry that there's really th only three rooms that matter in a house. Master bedroom, kitchen, family room. That being the case, you would think well, builders would put more emphasis on some of these rooms, and you'd be shocked at how small some of these rooms are in a lot of houses. Not here. Builder blew it out. So, a decent sized master bedroom. You'd think that's it. No, come on. What do people want in a master bedroom? Well, sometimes you want a sewing room, or sometimes you want an extra room that you could have as a nursery, or you could even have as an office, or you could have as an extra TV room while your spouse sleeps, you can go over here and read, or watch TV, or something like that. So you've actually got a suite, is what a lot of these houses are getting into, especially in this neighborhood, master suites. And then you walk through here, you've got his and her closets, and then you've got a bathroom that's totally separated from the entire area by the closets so that you don't hear people who get up in the morning, take showers, do everything. You don't have to wake your spouse up and you can go off to work and if your spouse needs to sleep in, they can. Here, jacuzzi tub, of course you've got a separate shower, um, double vanities, you know, all the updates as well. All right, so I have four kids. This room is gonna be the argument. It's gonna be the argument for your kids. This room is huge. This is the fourth bedroom. It's as big, or if not bigger, than the main part of the master bedroom. Now we're in the lower level of the house. It's partially finished. Basement. It doesn't feel like a basement though, because it has what's known as a walkout. Doors, full windows. You're actually at grade. Another section, these guys happen to be using it as an office. I've seen people put wet bars in here. I've seen people actually put a wall across here to make another den or a bedroom. Game room area over here. A massive amount of storage area. So you're gonna have a hard time filling this house up with all your stuff. You know, this is kind of appropriate. TV show here is the American Dream. What, 175 years ago, Captain William Lewis Herndon saves 150 lives. And many of them settle right here in Herndon they get to live their American dream. <laughs> I'm Terry Roche. Thanks for joining us on the American Dream.